Good evening and welcome to East Peckham Salvation Army. What a joyous way to start this evening's worship. Uh, it was a recording made from Boundless in 2015. It was a piece called A Joyful Army, written especially for the international staff stonksers and the international band. And don't they make a fantastic sound when they play together? I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, tonight is our self-denial appeal. Normally, as part of tonight's service, we would personally have brought our gifts and put them on to the Bible at the hall. Unfortunately, we're not in that situation. So I thank you for getting your gifts to us in plenty of time. And earlier in the week, we went to the hall and we recorded that. Well, it's almost a ceremony, isn't it? Something that we look forward to. Uh, it's bringing a gift to God and it's a, a practical, physical thing we can do. But still our gifts go on to God's word and still they were blessed in his house. So we'll play that just a little bit later on for you. Um, the meeting this evening has a real international theme to it. Um, I've tried to choose um, songs from right around the world uh, and at the end particularly we're going to go out on that wonderful March Goldcrest which has some wonderful old choruses in it and um, as you will see there is literally bandsmen from all over the world so that's something to really look forward to. I, I enjoyed watching through it and seeing where all the people were from. But let's start our service as we always do it's become our habit in prayer. And so to take us there, a beautiful song that's called Everywhere. Have you ever stopped to think how God loves you? Sounds quite incredible, and yet it's true. Nothing on this earth or in the heavens above is as sure and certain as God's Thank you. 
Let's pray together, shall we? Lord, you know us better than we know ourselves. You search our hearts and minds. You see us as we really are. We pray that you would teach us to face the truth. Forgive us that all too often we shy away from what is hard to accept. Refusing anything which contradicts the image that we have for ourselves. Lord, it's so hard to be honest with ourselves. We choose to close our ears to the truth that we would rather not hear. We avoid those who challenge and disturb us, preferring instead those who will soothe and flatter our egos. Lord, help us to face the truth. We thank you today for all those with the rare gift of speaking the truth in love, not spitefully or vindictively or harshly, not with any ulterior motives, but because they genuinely care. Lord, teach us to face the truth. We thank you for those who are willing to risk our resentment, our misunderstanding or anger, our retaliation or rejection to help us grow as individuals in your love. Help us, Lord, to face the truth. Give us true humility. Give us meekness of spirit that we may be ready to listen and examine ourselves, ready to ask searching questions about who we are and to change where necessary. Teach us, Lord, to face the truth in our own lives. Lord, we pray for those that are experiencing a period of testing in their lives, problems that they fear, that they find so difficult to cope with, challenges they feel unable to rise to, questions they would rather not face. Lord, be in, be present in the wilderness of our lives today. And Lord, give strength to all facing such times, a sureness of purpose, a clearness of mind, Give the knowledge of your will, then give the courage to make the right decisions and resolve to see them through it. May each emerge the stronger for all they have experienced and better equipped to face the future. Lord, be present in the wilderness of life today. And Lord, we pray that you will it be present in our lives as we face our own difficulties, as we still face this pandemic and the problems it's causing, as we face change where things will once again start to open. Lord, give us the strength to do what we need to do, the courage to accept the change. And Lord, we pray that our changes are right, not only for our community here, but for our country that we may indeed get back to some sort of normality, that we all can once again meet in your name. We can hold each other's hands. We can hug each other and we can be in vicinity of each other. Lord Jesus, be with us, we pray. Keep us safe and well in your love. We make our prayers in the name of Jesus and we say together the prayers that you taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's sing again, shall we? And this time we're going to Hedge End Salvation Army. And we're going to sing the lovely song, Blessed Be Your Name. self-denial we've had in the back of our minds Jeremiah 29 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future then you will call on me and come and pray to me and I will listen to you you will seek me and find me and when you seek me with all your heart I will be found 
by you, declares the Lord. And we've looked at different countries and we've looked at different problems and we've looked how people are coping right across the world. And today we come back here to our own hall. How wonderful it is to be back if just for a brief moment. And I bring your gifts to place upon God's word. And although you can't see from there, our Bible is open at Jeremiah 29. And that is where we bless the gifts that you have given to fulfill your promise to God, to help those in the world the best we can. So let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gifts that are here on your word. We thank you for the love that is contained within those gifts. We ask for your blessings, not only on the gifts, but on the givers, and also on those that will receive from the generosity of not only us here in East Peckham, but of the Salvation Army all around the world. We pray, Lord, that your love will be manifested through us to those in need. We make our prayers in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and our Saviour. Amen. And on behalf of East Peckham Salvation Army and on behalf of the General of the Salvation Army, I thank you for your generosity. God bless you all. Tonight's scripture comes from the Gospel of St John 16, reading from verse 25 through to 33 from the New International Version. Though I have spoken figuratively, a time is coming when I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my father. In that day, you will ask in my name. I am not saying that I will ask the father on your behalf. No, the father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you are speaking clearly and without figures of speech. Now we can see that you know all things and that you do not even need to have anyone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Do you now believe? Jesus replied. A time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. You will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone for the Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble. But take heart. I have overcome the world. Amen. May the Lord help us to understand his words this evening. And we're going to sing again. This time we're going to Liverpool, to the Liverpool Walton songsters. Would you know why I love Jesus? What a fantastic song to sing together. Tonight's scripture comes from the Gospel of St John 16, reading from verse 25 through to 33, from the New International Version. Though I have spoken figuratively, a time is coming when I will no longer use this kind of language, but will tell you plainly about my Father. In that day, you will ask in my name. I am not saying that I will ask the Father on your behalf. No. The Father himself loves you because you have loved me and have believed that I came from God. I came from the Father and entered the world. Now I am leaving the world and going back to the Father. Then Jesus' disciples said, Now you are speaking clearly and without figures of speech. Now we can see that you know all things and that you do not even need to have anyone ask you questions. This makes us believe that you came from God. Do you now believe? 
Jesus replied. A time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. You will leave me all alone. Yet I am not alone for the Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Amen. May the Lord help us to understand his words this evening. And we're going to sing again. This time we're going to Liverpool, to the Liverpool Walton songsters. Would you know why I love Jesus? What a fantastic song to sing together. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Boy, isn't that true? Trouble. Problems happen. Bad stuff seems to invade our lives. At times we struggle to find peace, don't we? Yet listen to these words of Jesus in John 16. 33. Have peace 
in me. Here on earth you will have many trials and sorrows, but take heart because I have overcome the world. Jesus said in John 14, 27, I am leaving you with a gift, a peace of mind and heart. And the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give. So do not be troubled or afraid. Have peace. Take heart. Don't be troubled or afraid. Are those wonderful words of Jesus words that you need to hear this evening? I think they're words I need to hear every day. Do you need peace of heart and peace of mind? Do you need to experience the peace that only Jesus can bring into your life? Do you need to experience his healing touch on your life today? Whatever circumstances you are facing right now, I would suggest you need to experience his peace so that your heart is not troubled or afraid. When the Apostle Paul wrote to the Philippian church, he told them that God's peace exceeds anything that we can understand. It's a peace that doesn't make sense in the world. But there is a condition to this peace. Philippians 4, 6 to 7 says, don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank him for all that he has done. Then you will experience God's peace, which exceeds anything we can understand. His peace will guard your hearts and minds as you live in Jesus Christ. We can experience real peace in our hearts and minds when we trust God, when we pray, when we commit our circumstances and situations to God, when we thank him for what he's done, for what he is doing and for what he will do. Then we can experience perfect peace. Is your heart and mind troubled by your problems, by your situation? Or are your thoughts fixed on the Lord? Our trust is not to be in our own abilities or in other people or in the opinions of philosophies of the world. Our trust needs to be in God alone. King David said in Psalm 62, God alone is my rock and salvation, my fortress where I will never be shaken. Let all that I am wait quietly before God, for my hope is in him. He is my refuge, a rock where no enemy can reach me. O oh, my people, trust in him at all times. Pour out your heart to him, for God is our refuge. Wow, what powerful, wonderful words. Perfect peace comes when our thoughts, our trust is in God. Our eternal rock, our fortress, our saviour, our redeemer. We can experience perfect peace in our hearts and minds when we need to fix our thoughts on Jesus. God has blessed each of us with the ability to think. We can let our thoughts lead us into places of despair. Or we can choose to let our thoughts lead us to the place of refuge, the place of salvation, that place of perfect peace. God knows everything we think about. He knows what troubles our minds. God knows 
what can take us away from that place of perfect peace. We need to remember that Jesus is our saviour. He has saved us. Jesus is our healer. He has healed us. And that Jesus is the baptizer in the Holy Spirit. And indeed, the coming King. We need to lift up our eyes and our hearts and our thoughts to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. We need to trust in his perfect will, his perfect plan, his perfect purpose. And then we can experience this perfect peace. Let me ask you a couple of questions. Just be honest in your own minds with God and, and yourself as you answer them. As you fired up your computer this evening or picked up your phone, what was in your mind? Were you occupied with your thoughts? Were your thoughts on your troubles, your trials, your circumstances, your situation? Were you thinking about how God can just speak a word and everything will change? Right now, this very second, as we talk, are your thoughts fixed on your problems? Or on the God who is bigger than all our problems? God knows you. God loves you. God is fully aware of your situation. He wants you to trust him. Even in these days of problems, of pandemic and of worry and of stress. God wants you to trust him. Remember, God is bigger than all of our problems, all of our woes, all of our strives, all put together. God is still bigger. Amen. May God bless his words to us this evening. We're going to sing again. I love this song. One of my favourites. My Jesus, my Saviour. Nothing compares to you. Let's sing this together. <laughs>
time has come once again i hope you've enjoyed our worship this evening once again i thank you for your gifts that will go to the work of the salvation army right across the world and god will bless you for them as i have blessed our gifts this evening i hope you have a, a good and a safe week and um, we'll be with you on wednesday um, and then back again on Sunday. I'll leave you with the blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. Amen. Good night and God bless you all. And I leave you with this wonderful March gold crests of bandsmen from all over the world. And in it comes that beautiful chorus, joy, 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 there is joy in the Salvation Army.